be used to offset any cost if and when within a reasonable time that we decide to build a school, hopefully that's going to be this year, or to renovate the school, I should say, renovate and rebuild, that the geothermal would be part of it. I think it would be a cost saver to us. And again, while I was on the building ground committee, it was a good thing for the school. Thank you. Thank you. Further discussion? Hearing or seeing none, do we have a motion to restrict reconsideration of Article 6? So moved. So moved. Chris Dardaroff was second. Second. Jeff St. Cyr. All in favor of restricting reconsideration, raise your cards. All opposed? <coughs> reconsideration is restricted. Article 7. To see if the school district will vote to raise and appropriate as an operating budget, not including appropriations by special warrant articles and other appropriations voted separately. The amount set forth on the budget posted with the warrant or as amended by vote of the first session for the purposes set forth therein totally, $13,075,092. Should this article be defeated, the default budget will be $13,000,000. $113,354, which is the same as last year, with certain adjustments required by previous action of the school district or by law, or the governing body may hold one special meeting in accordance with RSA 40 colon 13 X and XVI to take up the issue of a revised operating budget only. This warrant article does not include appropriations in any other warrant article. The All Budget Committee recommends $13,075,092 by a vote of 5 to 2. The All School Board recommends $13,216,497, a vote of 5 to 0. Who moves the motion? I move the motion. Terry Noyes, second. Second. Second over here. Um, who cares to speak in favor of the motion? I'd like to propose an amendment. We have an amendment. I'd like to, to amend the amount of money to read $13,216,497.00, which represents the original school board budget that was presented to the budget committee. Second. We have a uh, motion by Terry Noyes, second by Chris Chargeropoulos to change the bottom line budget number to $13,216,497 and no cents. Uh, we care to speak in favor of it. I'll speak to that. This year, the Alton School Board presented to the Budget Committee an operating budget with a 1.14 negative decrease over last year's budget request. Due to last year's operating budget failing, this year's budget request was already $96,000 uh, plus less. Um, during several work sessions, the staff, administration, and school board reviewed carefully each line of the budget. We feel we worked very hard to present a responsible, educationally sound budget to accommodate the students at Alton Central School. For the past several years, the board has recommended that the same number as the Budget Committee's bottom line number be placed on the warrant for the deliberative session. However, this year, for the first time in several years, the board felt that we needed to support a higher budget than the Budget Committee's approved. This year, cuts by the Budget Committee in the area of technology and buildings and grounds maintenance are substantial. Therefore, the board is recommending its original budget. Thank you. Anyone over here yeah. care to address it? Mr. Yeah. DeCar. Yes, uh, the Alton Budget Committee worked very hard. We thank the uh, Alton School Board for their budget. We only lowered their budget by 1.07% over uh, what they presented to us. The town has seen an increase in short sales and foreclosures, which has steadily gone up since 2007. Right now, the town is, has a Tax, taxes that haven't been paid of 1900000 Most of those will be caught up in June so people don't get uh, notices. But from 2000 to 2010, we still have $495,000 in back taxes not paid. 
And if it keeps going at the rate it's going, each year we'll probably add $250,000 in back taxes that have not been paid before the state of the economy turns around. Thank you. Thank you. Any further discussion on this change? Jana Mellon, I just wanted to draw the board's attention um, and whoever's drafting this. I believe you have a typographical error in this. I don't know if it's set in stone, but your dollar amount is thirteen million seventy-five thousand ninety-two, and you've written thirteen million seventy-five hundred ninety-two thousand dollars and no cents, which is not the right amount. That amendment did include that correction. Her, her amendment for the revised amount, but if it doesn't pass, somebody's somebody going to need to fix that. Yes. Yes, back here. Um, I'm speaking um, on behalf of the board at this point. If I could ask the people who are doing the presentation to go back to the original slides. At the very beginning. The very beginning. Slide three. Be slide three. Thank you. Um, I know that Alton Central School certainly doesn't come down to our kneecap scores, but um, I do think it's important on behalf of the board at this point to say how hard everybody at Alton Central School is working to bring our scores up and to move the school forward. It's great to see incremental growth and know that you're always going in the right direction, but we are really pleased to announce that we've had some pretty substantial growth in areas. What we look at um, in all areas that are tested, what we're looking at is how many students we have reaching proficiency, which means they score either a three or a four on the kneecap test. Um, what I'm proud to report is this year we have 10% more students proficient in reading. We have 11% more students proficient in math, and we have 6% more students proficient in writing. Uh, if you can go to the next slide, just to look carefully at reading, what you want to see is you want to see the numbers of the students scoring a one or two going down, which is what we're seeing, and we want to see higher numbers in the three or four category. So looking at this, this is, this is the exact trend that we want to see. If you want to go forward to math, please. You're going to see the same exact trend that's happening in math. Fewer ones and twos and more threes and fours. And finally, writing. You're going to see the same trend again. So uh, on behalf of the board, I think we really need to uh, thank everybody, parents, administrators, board, and teachers and staff at Alton Central School for working so incredibly hard to get these things to happen. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Hi. Anna Griffin. I live in Alton on Prospect Mountain Road. Um, to address the budget committee, budget chair's comment about Alton having a deficit in tax, back tax. revenues, back, an increase in back taxes or a deficit in revenues, I, I'm not sure that that has anything to do with this. I don't believe that we can balance the tax budget on the backs of the children, I am in favor of the amendment. We have not, the fact that we have less tax revenue does not mean that we have fewer children to educate, and it does not mean that we could cut back on the quality of that education. So I would like to just say I'm in favor of the amendment as it was proposed. Thank you. Any further discussion? <laughs> Hearing or seeing none, we'll vote uh, the amendment. And the amendment is to change the dollar amount to thirteen million two hundred sixteen thousand four hundred ninety-seven dollars and no cents. Does everyone understand the amendment? All in favor of the amendment, raise your cards. All opposed. The amendment passes. Any, 
Any further discussion on the article? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Carl Inglesby, uh, resident. Um, I would like to make an amendment to raise the bottom line operating budget to thirteen million two hundred fifty nine thousand five hundred ninety three dollars that is an additional forty three thousand ninety six dollars and the reason being over the last seven um, years let's see if we get a second first okay. do we have a second on that motion we have a second up there mr st Cyr. yes sir over the last seven years i have tr tried repeatedly to show that the custodial main staff at all central school is understaffed Repeated, repeatedly, I've been informed that, that this is not the time to go for additional staffing, even though the workload is increased, increasing, such as added technologies, raised expectations, increased paperwork and reporting, and increased scrutiny. This year, I was given the chance to research and show the needs at our school for an increase in the facility staff. I used, utilized staffing guidelines from a few different states, as well as the book Custodial Staffing Guidelines for Educational Facilities, second edition put out by the Association of Physical Plant Administrators, which is the industry standard. When I took over as facility director in 2004, there were three full-time custodians for second shift. When one quit, I was asked to hire a summertime part-time associate for 32 hours a week to fill the open position as this associate could not work full-time due to his benefits. The cleanliness of this area suffered because of this and I asked for this position to be moved to full-time. Unfortunately, I was turned down and was informed the position had been changed to part-time in the budget. In addition, this position now has the added duty of cleaning the cafeteria, which leaves even less time for him to clean his third of the facility. With this in mind, I'm asking for an increase in the budget of $43,095.48, which will cover pay and benefits for the current part-time associate to be made full-time plus additional time. The amount of groundskeeping that is required to maintain safe and playable conditions on athletic fields and to maintain the ground is, presentable, is pre in presentable condition required that I ask for and receive a half time groundskeeper in 2008. Over the years, this person has helped to do light maintenance in the facility, such as changing filters and light bulbs, as well as replacing shingles on dugouts, painting the softball scoreboards, and a plethora of other tasks that would have otherwise been looked over due to other pressing items that I was taking care of. With the jurisdiction, I'm sorry, with the justification I've used in this report, we should have one full-time equivalent groundskeeper and one full-time equivalent maintenance mechanic. I am also asking for an additional in addition to the 17000 I mentioned uh, that would have cost him uh, $25,749, which will cover wages and benefits to make this halftime position full-time to get us going in the right direction as far as maintaining the facility in the condition that it should be kept. We have an old facility that has been neglected by the Budget Committee and community for too long, and we need to get the proper staffing to maintain what we have and to ensure what we might get will be made properly. With all that being said, I'm asking for $43,095.48 to be added to the maintenance, salary, and benefits lines to increase one part-time custodian to full and one half-time groundskeeper to full-time. Now, I have the details in the number. I can go over the different methods and methodologies I use to, to, to come to my uh, justifications. If anybody would like to hear those, I can continue or I can sit down now. I'll need that in writing. Do you have a uh, the written request? Yes, sir. One last thing I'd like to say, um, 
Right now we have three custodians cleaning 82,000 square feet. If you take that 82,000 square feet and divide it by three, it would be roughly 27,000 square feet. Most houses around 2,400 square feet. The average size house is around 2,400. These guys are cleaning 10 houses a night. And some of them are doing it in five hours. How clean do you think that building can be? Thank you. Anyone care to want to discuss this item? Any discussion? Yes. My name is Carol Locke. I'm going to share a concern I have about this amendment. When you put money into a budget like this, first of all, the school board's not obligated to hire anyone, even if you ask them to. Secondly, there's going to be a number on the ballot that people who do not attend the deliberative session will not understand because that, again, is a flaw of the SB2 system, is that we don't have the old town meeting system where people here get to decide that. Instead, what's going to happen is we're going to raise that, if we decide to approve this, which I don't approve the amendment, we'll raise it by 43,000. People who are voting in the ballot will not understand fully, they won't educate themselves necessarily, I'm hoping they do, but they won't understand why the bottom line is not the same as the school board's recommendation and not the same as the budget committee's recommendation. Instead, it's now going to be a totally different figure, which I feel will confuse the voters who go to the ballot box. So I can't support this. I would support someone going to the school board and expressing that same type of opinion during the budget process, but I don't support this amendment because I'm afraid it will confuse the issues when we get to the ballot and vote through the SB2 system. So I can't support this amendment. Thank you. Any further discussion on the amendment? Mr. Moderator? Yes. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Jeffrey, Saint, Jeffrey Saint Cyr. Um, Ms. Locke raised a very good concern in regards to um, the way the municipal budget law works. Uh, as you may be aware, a couple years ago, both the town and the school district adopted provisions of the Municipal Budget Act where the school board's recommendation and the budget committee's recommendations tally and support or non-recommendation of any warrant article appears on at the end of each warrant article. The only way that the Alton School Board or the Alton Budget Committee can change their recommendation is on articles for the, that are declared a special article. And if voters here at this deliberative session uh, change any numerical value on any of these number, any monetary value on these warrant articles, the Alt School Board and the Alt Budget Committee have the right, following this meeting, to go back and revise their recommendations as to whether or not they still agree or disagree with that new number. The issue with the school budget is the school budget is not considered a special article. We do not have the ability to go back and revise our uh, recommendation on this article. I do appreciate Mr. Inglesby's bringing this forward here today. This is the appropriate place to bring these types of things forward, not only at a school board meeting during the budget process, but here. Because today here, it's the citizens of Alton gathering uh, to determine what will be on the ballot on March 13th. So as you've seen here today, any of you are welcome to make amendments on these articles coming forward. My only concern, as what Ms. Locke had mentioned, is that we do not have the ability to revise our recommendation. As you may be aware, at the last deliberative session, when there was a discussion regarding the architectural fees, that citizens here at this deliberative session added the money back in because of the snow plowing issue that we had last year that was discussed. The school board and the budget committee were not allowed to go back and revise their recommendation, yet because the citizens here, the citizens here voted to put that money back in. Publicly, the school board was, there were efforts used publicly against the school board and its budget that the school board did not support the budget because the numbers of our recommendation did not match the number that was in the warrant article. I want to make that publicly clear, that last year that was used against the school board because the numbers were different, because the citizens here at this deliberative session voted to put that money back in the budget. So I use that as a caution. Certainly this can come to the board as to whether or not if we can find money in next year's budget to include this position, but the reality is that we have a difficulty in moving forward today with the school board's recommendation not being the same as what the citizens here vote. And that's the only thing I'll take away. I'm not speaking in support of the, the amendment or against it, uh, but I think that's something that needs to be, to be made clear while we are gathered here at this deliberate session. Uh, and with that, I'll conclude my remarks. Thank you. Yes. 
Barbara Howard, Alton taxpayer, concerned citizen. Um, I would just like to say that, um, to say that the budget committee um, doesn't support cleanliness and maintenance in the, in the school, um, you know, the townspeople raise and appropriate money by voting um, for special bond articles and warrant articles. And um, if you read what is here, um, as far as the new construction, they're going to be taking a withdrawal from $19,832 from the water heater capital reserve fund, $239,000 from the fire suppression, okay, $25,741 from the security and safety expendable trust fund, $446 from the electrical service upgrade, um, $31,000 from the bathroom refurbishment, $1,800 for the window replacement, $440,666 from the Building and Grounds Expendable Trust Fund. So I fail to see where um, the Budget Committee has prevented any of the maintenance on, on the school. Um, and I personally have seen uh, pictures from a tour that um, Mr. Inglebees had given on the, on the building in which um, the boiler was fixed with upside down beer bottles. And it, the pictures just tell a very um, descriptive story of long-term uh, maintenance neglect. And I also would like to point out in your last year of service at the school, um, I, saw, I saw the two contracts that you had from the previous year. Your hours decreased and your salary increased. Um, we don't, we don't so, want to go that direction. Uh, pardon me? That's a personal attack. I'm not going to allow that. It's the truth, and it's the it's money. Is, the money, the money is being spent to maintain the building. Any other discussion? Any other discussion? If not, we'll vote the amendment. Oh, excuse me. Here comes Ruth. State, state your name. Ruth Massier. I'd like to know if this amount of money was presented to the school board for the purpose that this amendment is seeking money. Custodian. Would someone care to address half, that? Have you ever seen that number? Half-time custodian. The half-time time custodian was presented. Which and did it was, not Wasn't include. it actually in the default budget? No, it, it, it was, was an additional half-time custodian this in this year. Default. I know that much. I don't need a budget book in front of me to know that. So the school board did consider part of what's in this amendment, and you chose not to add it to your budget, correct? The school, the school board did present it originally in the budget. Um, when it went to the budget committee, it was cut from from the uh, recommended budget by the school board. Of course, the number that's brought to you at the beginning of the deliberative session is the budget committee's number. That's now been amended. Yeah. Um, and as you know, Mr. Inglesby has done an additional amendment to it. But the school board does support this. This was originally brought to us. Thank you. Thank you. Any further discussion? Hearing or seeing none, uh, if everybody understands what This would increase the budget to thirteen million two hundred fifty-nine thousand five hundred ninety-three dollars. All in favor of the amendment, raise your cards, please. All opposed. The amendment fails. Any other discussion on the article? Hearing is seeing none. Do we have a motion to restrict reconsideration of Article Seven? So moved. We have a motion and a second over here. All in favor of restricting reconsideration, raise your cards, please. All opposed? Reconsideration is restricted. Article 8, folks. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Article 8, a special warrant article to see if the school district will vote to approve the cost items included in the collective bargaining agreement reached between the Alton School District and the Alton Teachers Association, which calls for the following increases in salaries and benefits at the current staffing levels. Year 2012-2013, $64,990.58. Year 2013-2014, $46,519.59. And further to raise and appropriate the sum of $64,990.58 for the 2012-2013 fiscal year. Such sum, representing the additional cost attributable to the increase in salaries and benefits over those of the appropriation at current staffing levels paid in the prior fiscal year in accordance with the most recent collective bargaining agreement. The Alton School Board recommends $64,990.58 by a vote of 5 to 0. The Alton Budget Committee recommends $64,990.58 by a vote of 5 to 2. Who moves the motion? I do. Linda Gorson. Second. 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 Uh, Mark DeCoff. Uh, who cares to speak in favor of the motion? Linda. The board and the ATA had a good working relationship, and through negotiations, we balanced the need to be aware of the difficult economic times with the need to retain our high quality teaching staff. We incorporated changes in health care and salary schedule and also made changes in language to comply with new state and federal laws. The adjustments to salary are as follows. In year one, teachers will, teachers will receive STEP plus 1% for the 2012-2013 year, and teachers above STEP 16 will receive a 3% salary increase. For year two, teachers who are employed in the Alton School District in 2012-2013 I mean will advance one step in 2013, 2013. Let's add this point of order. No. Teachers above step 16 who are employed in the Alton School District in 2012-13 will receive a 1% increase for 2013-14. The modifications to benefits are as follows. In 2012-13, the district will pay 91% of the cost of the HMO plan and the teacher will pay 9%. In 2013-14, the district will pay 90% of the cost of, H of an HMO plan and the teacher contribution will increase to 10%. If a teacher currently has a POS, not the HMO plan, and wants to continue it, he or she will have to pay the difference. There will also be no new POS plans for any teachers. Other changes that were agreed upon include eliminating teachers' opportunity for sabbatical leave, changing the years of service for the evaluation period of new teachers, changing the notification date for retirement to address budgetary needs, and cleaning up some language issues. Thank you, Linda. Any discussion? Article 8. Hearing or seeing none, do we have a motion to restrict reconsideration of Article 8? Yes. Uh, motion. Yes. Motion. 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 Second. 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 Krista. Uh, all in favor of restricting reconsideration of Article 8, raise your cards, please. All opposed? Article 8 is restricted regarding reconsideration. Article 9. Special warrant article. Shall the school district, if Article 7 is defeated, authorize the governing body to call one special meeting at its option? Uh, that was, that was a, uh, an amendment, so we're still going to discuss the article. Uh, is there any discussion on Article 9? Hearing, hearing then, I'll take a, mo a motion to restrict reconsideration of Article 9. So moved, seconded over here. Second. Second. All in favor of restricting reconsideration of Article 9, raise your cards. 
All opposed? Article 9 is restricted regarding reconsideration. Article 10, special warrant article. In the event that Article 3 is defeated, to see if the school district will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $150,000 to be added to the existing building and grounds expendable trust created 311-08 under RSA 19820-C for the purpose of building, repairing, and maintaining school facilities. This warrant article to be void and have no effect if Article 3 is approved by the voters. The Alton School Board recommends $150,000 by a vote of 5-0. to zero. The Alton Budget Committee does not recommend $150,000 by a vote of 2-5. to five. Who moves the motion? Sandy Wyatt. Second. Terry Noyes. Do we have an amendment on this? I have an amendment. I would like, I would like the amendment to state in the event that we remove the wording from the warrant article that says in the event that article three is defeated and also at the end of that to remove this warrant article to be void and have no effect if article three is approved by the voters. Thank you. Does everyone understand the amendment? I'll go over it. It's to take the wording out, the first seven words, in the event this article, that Article 3 is defeated, uh, to take that out of the motion. And down below, this warrant article will be void and have no effect if Article 3 is approved by the voters, to remove that also. Any discussion on the amendment? Point of order, Mr. Roderick. Yes. Need a second, please. Did we have a second? Um, no, but I'm willing to second it. Please. Okay, we do have a second. Uh, any discussion? Um, I think we should clarify that, again that this is another just a technicality because of moving the three warrant articles contingent on the building on the bond for the building renovation. This is a technicality, so we have to remove this language from this warrant article just to make it so that it's not contingent on the warrant articles that were originally at the beginning, at, as it was explained by Superintendent Holt at the start of this meeting. Thank you. Any other discussion? We'll move the, amend the amendment. We'll vote on the amendment. All in favor of the amendment, raise your cards. All opposed? The amendment passes. Is there any, uh, any discussion uh, on the article? Who we'll cares to speak in favor of it? Well, this, this is just to, um, be, to be able to add to the expendable trust in case we don't have Article 3 passed. Uh, is it, everyone hear that humming we're getting in the system? Yeah, we've, this, we've got a, I don't know if this is the sound, but we've got, some, we've got a hot mic, and I, I believe it's at the end of this table. How can we repeat that? JJ? Um, they need to take down the levels on, on this last mic up in the sound booth, please. We got some humming and we got a hot mic. That's better, I believe. Um, any discussion on Article 10? Yeah. I, uh, the Alton Budget Committee uh, didn't recommend this article. Right now, the fund has $440,666.00. We felt that the uh, taxpayers could use the relief for a year, and we didn't need to uh, fund that trust. It would be more than enough money to do any maintenance they needed to do. Thank you. Any further discussion? Can, can I just say something more? Yes. Um, this, this is like a down payment on a house. The more funds that the district has on reserve, that is in trusts and in capital reserves, when it goes to bond, a renovation, rebuild, add-on to the Alton School, the, um, the lower the interest on the bond rate. It also means that we'll have more funds on hand to reduce the principal of the bond. Funds cannot be expended or moved from a trust or capital reserve without the board holding a public hearing. So that's, that's the only reason for doing this. It still belongs to the town. It's going to be used in the future for probably an addition or a renovation or whatever. Any discussion? Yes, Mr. Miller. 
if in fact it is a down payment on the school, that it should be stayed. If in fact it is a down payment for a renovated or new school, that's the way it should be stated in the Warren article, so that the voters and the taxpayers, certainly those who are not here today, would have a full understanding of what this is for. This is for renovation, this is for current renovation and emergency uh, money uh, for building for, for building and facilities work. There's plenty of money in there right now, in excess of $440,000, even if there was an extraordinary need, the roof caving in, for example. There's plenty of money in there right at this time. And in these economic times, now is not the time to keep adding to this fund and the next fund and the next fund, just build it, keep building up kitties as a down payment. There should be a warrant article that says down payment on a new school. And let people vote on that. It, it clearly states that this is for the purpose of building, repairing, and maintaining school facilities. So if the roof falls in, or the boiler has to be redone or replaced, what do we do then? That's where this kind of issue can be taken care of. Um, it's not like we're spending it on anything else. It's going to be used for main maintaining or repairing or building. Thank you. Any further discussion? Yes, sir. Dave St. Cyr, I'm in favor of this. I would prefer to pay a little bit at a time than a whole lot at once. And to me, this is a savings account, albeit interest rates aren't that great in terms of anything on it, but it's a savings account. And it would be much better to us as taxpayers to have the total bill reduced by money we already have somewhere that we've already paid into than to hit me up for an extra 300 to 500 a quarter or three quarter million dollars because we didn't have anything in the savings account. Thank you. Thank you. May I say one more thing? Yes. I, I also think that using the example of the roof falling in is an interesting um, example for Mr. Miller to use. Since part of the reason that we want, want to do this uh, renovation, rebuild on the old section of the school is because we have to shovel the roof because we're worried about the roof falling in. I have grandchildren in that building. I know a lot of you have children or grandchildren or you yourselves are in that building. You know, let's, let's think along those lines. Thank you. Any further discussion on Article Yes, can I make a comment, please? Over here. Yes. I'd just like to say that um, although it, it's perceived that it's written very clearly, it in fact is not because um, at, a, at a meeting, some monies were taken out of this account for cameras when in fact there was a camera um, account that was not accessed this year. And also the architect uh, fees keep getting withdrawn from this account. Thank you. Any further discussion on Article uh, yes. 10? Yes. Cameras were not taken out of yeah. Cameras were not taken out of this fund, just for the record. We did pay... Um, $23,000 to the architect. $23,000 to the architect for all the work that he's done over the last eight years. Yes, that's the $23,000 that we were all informed was paid in 2010, correct? 2011. Do you wish to address that? Yeah. 2011. This is, this is, what, this is the issue of you using the word paid last year. I, I the, money was paid, the money was paid during the fiscal Because your mic shut up. Yeah. The money was paid during the fiscal year that closed June 30, 2011. My understanding is it was paid rather late in the year. It was not paid during the 2010 fiscal year. And if I said it was, and I don't believe that I did, I misspoke. Any further discussion? Hearing or seeing none. Uh, can we have a motion to restrict reconsideration of Article 10? So moved. So moved Second. and seconded over here. Uh, all in favor of restricting reconsideration of Article 10, raise your cards. All opposed? Article 10 is restricted regarding reconsideration. Article 11, a special warrant article. In the event that Article 3 is defeated, to see if the school district will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of. $135,000 to be added to the roof expendable trust previously established in 3811 under provisions of RSA 35 colon 1. 
for the purpose of repairing, replacing, and maintaining roofs on school buildings. This warrant article to be void and have no effect if Article 3 is approved by the voters. The Alton School Board recommends $135,000 by a vote of 5 to 0. The Alton Budget Committee recommends $135,000 by a vote of 6 to 1. Uh, who moves the article? I Terry do. Noyes. Second. Sandy Wyatt. Do we have an amendment on this article I also? Do. Uh, I have an amendment to uh, amend Article 10 uh, in the event that Article 3 is defeated. Pardon me? Article 11. Yes, Article 11. Boy, these Roman numerals jump all over the place for me. Um, again, Article 11. In the event that Article 3 is defeated, uh, would be uh, stricken and this warrant article to be void and have no effect if Article 3 is approved by the voters. Same thing that we've done for a couple of the other warrant articles. Any discussion on the amendment? All in favor of the amendment, raise your cards. All opposed? The amendment has passed. Uh, any further discussion on Article 11? Who'd care to speak in favor of it? Um, Anyone's scared? Uh, I. We're in favor of it. Yes, go ahead. Any other discussion? Hearing a seeing none, do we have a motion to restrict reconsideration of Article 11? Someone, someone. Moved and seconded here. Uh, all in favor? Raise your cards, please. All opposed? Article 11 is restricted regarding reconsideration. Article 12, the special warrant article. In the event that Article 3 is defeated, to see if the school district will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $44,000 to be added to the Windows Replacement Fund previously established on 3805 under provisions of RSA 35 colon 1 for the purpose of replacing the windows at the Alton Central School. This warrant article to be void and have no effect if Article 3 is approved by the voters. The Alton School Board recommends $44,000 by a vote of 5 to 0. The Alton Budget Committee recommends $44,000 by a vote of 7 to 0. Do we have an amendment on this one? I do. I think the article is read. She moves it. We have a second. We have a second over there. Uh, again, there's an amendment to strict, uh, strike the uh, beginning in, in the event that Article 3 is defeated. And then also down below the section that says this warrant article to be void and have no effect if Article 3 is approved by the voters. Does everyone understand the amendment? Any discussion on the amendment? All in favor of the amendment, raise your cards, please. All opposed? Article 12 is amended. Uh, any discussion on Article 12? Hearing or seeing none, do we have a motion to restrict reconsideration of Article 12? Okay. Move, second it over here. All in favor of restricting reconsideration of Article 12, raise your cards, please. All opposed? Article 12 is restricted regarding reconsideration. <coughs> Article 13. In the event that Article 3 is defeated, to see if the school district will vote and ra to raise and appropriate the sum of $30,000 to be added to the bathroom refurbishment fund previously established in 3805 under the provisions of RSA 35 colon 1 for the purpose of refurbishing the bathrooms at Alton Central School. This warrant article to be void and have no effect if Article 3 is approved by the voters. The Alton School Board recommends $30,000 by a vote of 5 to 0. The Alton Budget Committee recommends $30,000 by a vote of 4 to 3. Who moves the motion? I do. Linda Gosen. Second. Christopher Argeropoulos. Do we have an amendment on this article? Yeah.
Again, uh, the amendment does the same thing. The first seven words, uh, strike them uh, in the event that Article 3 is defeated. And then down below, uh, this warrant article will be void and have no effect if Article 3 is approved by the voters. Does everyone understand the amendment? Any discussions on the amendment? All in favor of the amendment, raise your cards, please. All opposed? The amendment passes. Is there any discussion on Article 8? Excuse me, Article 13. <laughs> Hearing or seeing none, do we have a motion to restrict reconsideration of Article 13? Yep. Second. Second. Second here. All in favor of restricting reconsideration of Article 13, please raise your cards. All opposed? Article 13 is restric restricted regarding reconsideration. Article 14, in the event that Article 3 is defeated, to see if the school district will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $30,000 to be added to the capital reserve fund previously established in March 1998 under the provisions of RSA 35-1 for the purpose of installing a fire suppression system. This warrant article to be void and have no effect if Article 3 is approved by the voters. The Alton School Board recommends 30000 by a vote of 5 to 0. The Alton Budget Committee does not recommend $30,000 by a vote of 2 to 5. So Who moves moves the motion? So Jeff St. Cyr. Second. Second. Terry Noyes. Do we have an amendment to this article? Yes. And what this amendment does, again, uh, removes the first seven words in the event that, that Article 3 is defeated. And then down below, uh, it removes this warrant article to be void and have no effect if Article 3 is approved by the voters. Does everyone understand the amendment? All in favor of the amendment, raise your cards, please. All opposed? The amendment passes. Is there any discussion on Article 14? Does anyone care to speak in favor of it? Thank you, Mr. Moderator. This warrant article here is to add money to our fire suppression uh, capital reserve fund. Currently in the fund, there is a total of $239,011.33. Same as with the previous articles, this, these funds uh, would be used for the installation of a fire suppression system, something that would be required when we do a building renovation or build a new school, uh, whatever the direction this community takes in the future. Thank you. For these funds could be also be used uh, for uh, the current fire suppression system if, if the board needed the funds in the short term as well. Thank you. Any discussion over here? Yeah, uh, the Alton Budget Committee did not support this article because, as uh, Mr. St. Cyr stated, how much is in the fund. We felt the uh, taxpayers could use the rural relief and there was no foreseen need for it next year. Any discussion on Article 14? Hearing or seeing none, do we have a motion to restrict reconsideration of Article 14? So moved. Moves Jeff St. Cyr, seconded? I'll second. Mr. Argeropoulos. Uh, all in favor of restricting reconsideration of Article 14, raise your cards, please. All opposed? Article 14 is restricted regarding reconsideration. Article 15, a special warrant article, to see if the school district will vote to establish a contingency fund under the provisions of RSA 198 4-B to meet the cost of unanticipated utility expenses that may arise during the fiscal year 2013 at the Alton School District. Furthermore, to raise and appropriate the sum of $60,000 toward this purpose and to name the Alton School Board as agents to expend from this fund. A detailed report of all expenditures from the contingency fund shall be made annually by the school board and published with their report. Any funds not used will be returned to the town. The Alton School Board recommends $60,000 by a vote of 5 to 0. 
The Alton Budget Committee recommends sixty thousand dollars by a vote of seven to zero. Who moves the motion? Linda Pound. Linda Goss Carson. Second. Second. Mr. Adjuropoulos. Who cares to speak in favor of the article? I'm all set. Any discussion on the article? Do we have a motion to restrict reconsideration of so Article 15? So moved. Second. So moved and second to move it here. Uh, all in favor of restricting reconsideration of Article 15, raise your cards, please. All opposed? Article 15 is restricted regarding reconsideration. Article 16. In the event Article 3 is defeated, to see if the school district will vote to create an expendable trust fund under the provisions of RSA 198 20-C to be known as Parking Lot Paving Expendable Trust for the purpose of repairing, replacing, and maintaining parking lots on school properties. Furthermore, to raise an appropriate the sum of $10,000 toward this purpose and to name the school boards as agents to expend from this fund. This warrant article to be void and have no effect if Article 3 is approved by the voters. The Alton School Board recommends $10,000 by a vote of 5 to 0. The Alton Budget Committee does not recommend $10,000 by a vote of 1 to 6. Who moves the motion? I do. Mr. Adjuropoulos, second. Second. Terry Noyes. I believe we have an amendment on this. We do. We'd like to amend to strike the words in the event that Article 3 is defeated and this warrant article is in the words this warrant article to be void and have no effect if Article 3 is approved by the voters. Those words should be removed from this warrant article. Oh, I need a second. Does everyone understand I need a the, uh, the amendments the same we've done on a number of the other articles? All in favor of the amendment, raise your cards, please. All opposed? The amendment passes. Is there any discussion on Article 16? Anyone in favor of it? Yes, Mr. Adger office. The parking lot and the parking lot and sidewalks surrounding Alton Central School require routine repairs and maintenance. The proposed plan for full renovation of Alton Central School includes a new driveway and parking lot at the Pine Street back entrance. This will provide a better flow of traffic. If the renovation fails, by setting aside these funds, we'll be able to do repairs when necessary. We'll also be able to put these funds towards the complete project, that is the renovation, and reducing the total principal of the cost of the bond when the full renovation is, is approved. The parking lot on Pine Street is presently uneven, has broken pavement, and is cracked. Repairs are on hold until the Alton Central School undergoes a full renovation. If this does not occur in the near future, this parking lot will require extensive work. The funds will be set aside over time within this trust to help fix up, that, fix up the parking lot. Repairs are scheduled for 2014 or as part of the, the renovation. This article establishes a new trust fund and it sets aside $10,000 for this purpose. As funds set in trust, they earn interest. This is a new trust, so there are no funds yet in this account. Thank you. Any discussion yeah. over here? The uh, Alton Budget Committee opposed setting up a new trust at this time with the state of the economy, and Article 10 has money in it if they need it to fix and repair what they need for, that, for buildings and grounds, too. Thank you. Any further discussion? Do we have a motion to restrict reconsideration? So moved. Of Article 16. So moved, seconded? Yep, second. Second, uh, Terry Noyes. All in favor of restricting reconsideration of Article 16, raise your cards, please. All opposed? Article 16 is restricted regarding reconsideration. Article 17, a special warrant article, to see if the school district will vote to raise an appropriate to sum of $15,000 to, to replace the current facilities truck with a truck without plow. The Alton School Board recommends $15,000 by a vote of 5 to 0. The Alton Budget Committee recommends $15,000 by a full vote of 7 to 0. Who moves the motion? I do. Chris Rogeropoulos. Seconded. Second. Terry Noyes. Uh, any discussion on the article? Hearing or seeing none, do we have a motion to restrict reconsideration of Article 17? So I did. Motion second. Second. Terry Noyes. Uh, all in favor of restricting reconsideration of Article 17, raise your cards, please. 
All opposed? Article 17 is restricted regarding reconsideration. Article 18, to see if the school district will vote to establish a non-capital, non-lapsing reserve fund known as the All Professional Development Fund for the purpose of reimbursing all central school teachers for the cost of professional development and to raise an appropriate up to the sum of $20,000 from the June 30th unreserved fiscal year 2012 fund balance surplus available for transfer on July 1st of this year to be placed in the fund and to designate the Alton School Board as agents to expend from the Alton Professional Development Fund. A detailed report of all expenditures from the fund shall be made annually by the school board and published in their annual report. The Alton School Board recommends up to $20,000 by a vote of 5 to 0. The Alton Budget Committee recommends $20,000 by a vote of 7 to 0. Who moves the motion? I do. Linda Gosens. Second. Second. Mr. <coughs> Any discussion on Article 18? Ruth Mess here. Is this a contractual expense? Yes. Um, that's not our, it, it is a contractual it's expense. expense. That's not how we're funding it, though. We're going to set up the fund in order to meet the contractual expense so that we will, it'll, I, I think. We bring this forward to help streamline the budgeting process. Contractually, a certain amount of money needs to be budgeted for professional development each year, but it may not all be spent. Once this account is established and fully funded, the town will only need to replenish the money that was spent on professional development during the fiscal year, rather than having to raise and appropriate the entire contractual amount each year. Thank you. Any additional discussion? Hearing or seeing none, do we have a motion to restrict reconsideration of Article 18? So moved. Have a motion. Second. Second. Uh, all in favor of restricting reconsideration of Article 18, raise your cards. All opposed? Article 18 is restricted regarding reconsideration. Article 19, to see if the school district will vote to add to a non-capital, non-lapsing reserve fund known as the Improvement of Instruction Fund for the purpose of reimbursing Prospect Mountain High School teachers for the cost of professional development and to raise and appropriate up to the sum of $15,810 from the June 30th unreserved fiscal year 2012 fund balance, i.e. surplus, available for transfer on July 1 of this year, which is 52.70% of the total monies of 30000 dollars and no cents, and further that the additional appropriation shall be contingent upon both the Alton, 52.7%, and Bonstead, 47.3%, school districts adopting the article and appropriating and transferring their respective sum of money. The Prospect Mountain High School Board is a designated agent to expend from the improvement of instruction fund. A detailed report of all expenditures from the fund shall be made annually by the respective school boards of Alton and Bonstead and published in their annual reports. Recommendations. Joint Budget Committee voted 8-0 to zero in favor. JMA Board voted 9 with one abstention. The Alton School Board recommends 15810 by a vote of 10-0. to zero. The Alton Budget Committee recommends 15810 by a vote of 7-0. to zero. Who moves the motion? Jeff St. C. A second. In the Gosens. Anyone care to speak on this motion? Yes. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Simmer, moderator, similar to the last article, uh, the intent is to work to build up this fund so that uh, each year, once it's, each year it's efforts to the full amount that we are contractually required to have. Uh, it should teachers all use their $2,000 that are allowed to them in one year, that we only have to go back, put in the amount to bring it up to the required amount. Uh, currently, the board does not, does, does not budget uh, the full amount um, at, if the teachers were to use them for all $2,000 uh, that they're allotted to in the contract. So, same similar to the past article that Linda spoke to, and for uh, 
the current balance in this fund is $10,000, uh, $10,000 with $4.60 for recent interest. We started this fund about two years ago, and we're just trying to work it up to the full capacity that we're required to have. Thank you. Any further discussion? Do we have a motion to restrict reconsideration of Article 19? So moved. Move, second? Yes. Second over here. Uh, all in favor of restricting reconsideration of Article 19, raise your cards, please. All opposed? Article 19 is restricted regarding reconsideration. Article 20, to see if the school district will vote to raise an appropriate to sum of $36,361.69 to establish a contingency fund under the provisions of RSA 198, colon 4-B, contingency fund, to meet the cost of un unanticipated utility, utility expenses that may arise at Prospect Mountain High School during the fiscal year 2013, said sub representing 52.70% of the total monies. $68,997.51, 1% of the general fund. And further, that this appropriation shall be contingent upon both the Alton 52.7% and the Bonstead 47.3% school districts adopting this article and raising and appropriating their respective sum of money. Prospect Mountain High School Board is hereby designated the agent to expend from this contingency fund. A detailed report of all expenditures from the contingency fund shall be made annually by the respective school boards of Alton and Bonstead and pub published in their annual